And it will cost stamina to do the moves, the special moves, like the threefold arrow or the scarlet kiss. Oh! Whoops! I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Rook. Rook! Oh, no. Whoops. Why didn't you heal him? You should have healed him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm disappointed in you. I'm Jojo Fusion, and this is Dragon's Dogma. And just to prevent confusion, this is not Dragon's Dogma 2, which was released not that long ago. This is the first Dragon's Dogma, specifically Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Dragon's Dogma came out in 2012. Dark Arisen, which was an expansion, was re-released as a whole package, the first game and the expansion, uh, in 2013. Anyway, we're going to jump right into this and take a look at the first hour of this game. I have played this before. I have played the first hour, but we'll go ahead and look at it together. Maybe if you can't afford Dragon's Dogma 2, you can afford Dragon's Dogma 1. It looks like they play very similarly. The graphics are going to be better in 2, though. Let's go ahead, get right into it. In the beginning, we only have access to normal or easy. I'm going to go normal. And it's going to start right off with a cutscene. In another place, in another life, another child of man blazes your path. Oh, I'm wrong, actually. Okay, it's been a while. So, this is kind of what makes looking at the first hour of this game uh, a good judge. They literally start you out with a character that is already been leveled, I guess, is a way to put it. Oh, so I got to turn on my lantern. I'm going to go in here. Tools, lantern, use. And his lantern will be turned on. So this is not your main character. This is a, another Arisen. I'm, I'm using a controller, which is why you don't see my air quotes with both hands. But this is another Arisen in another... I don't know how to put it. Like, not a timeline, but a uh, multiverse in a, in a different universe. So you can break stuff, and there can be things in boxes and whatnot. The dragon's roost is just beyond. We should hurry. Sald is a pawn, and there's a whole lore as to what the pawns are and where they come from. They do not come from this plane of existence, and this game is is deep. It's it's deep. So. There are multiple planes of existence. We're playing in one of them right now. Your main character is going to be in a different plane of existence. Hopefully I'm getting that right. That is a dragon. Look. All right, so I'm playing on an Xbox controller. Left and right triggers, if you look at the bottom right, will bring up different abilities. The left trigger looks like I have shield attacks I can do. Right trigger will be sword things. And that's for the class that this Arisen is, and he is a fighter. So, okay, I won't jump off the cliff, if that's what you're telling me. I didn't have a plan to do it. All right, so I could do... All right, you have X for standard, standard attacks and Y for heavy attacks. So that's Y, that's X. Did they drop anything that I can use? No. So... We'll go forward, we'll jump. Okay, so this is a Rift Stone. As you play the game, you're going to have your own personal pawn that you will create later on, and up to two other pawns. Now, these two other pawns can be other real people's pawns. So if you have friends that play this game, you can recruit recruit their pawns to be on in your party. Our kind is ever ready to fight by the grace um, of your guidance. In the intro, they just give you two generic ones. You'll, you'll always get Quince, you'll always get Morgana, you'll always have Sold. Alright, is there anything in here? No, there's not anything here. Here's another path, Master. I, I saw the path, thank you. I'm not an idiot. Is our valor pit against the worm's evil? Oh, damn it. Alright, so let's uh, do this. No, not that. I want to do that. Alright, well. 
Ooh, damn. So I'm just using my... Alright, he's telling me to hit that guy. I will do that. He held the guy so that I could hit him. Why am I doing that? That's dumb. Oh. Wow. Alright, are they all dead? Did, you, did we kill them? Nope. Uh, oh, he's not dead. So, when you start out... Well, as this character, he's quite powerful. You will not be this powerful when it cuts over to your character. But this will give you a good feel for how the game plays roughly. Especially the fighter class, which is what we, we are right now. I'm coming. I'm checking for loot. Let's sheath the sword for now. Uh-oh. Alright. Oh, there's goblins. I think they're in here. Oh, they're dead. That was quick. Okay, I'm trying. So, we're gonna go through here. Alright. More bodies. Must be made. Harpies! And there are ways... Yes. There are ways to taunt Harpies to get them down. And what Saul did is one of them. I think it's called Shield Summons. I think I have it too. Yeah, I do. I have this. It's this. It's basically a taunt. Or you can have ranged pawns in, in your party. And they will... Take them down with fire or arrows or whatever they have, depending on the class that the pawns are. Just flailing around like a madman. Here we go. Here, eat that. Okay. Oh. So, my weapons are glowing right now. You can see that? That's because Morgana cast fire on our weapons and gave us a fire buff. And that is the... That, thanks. And that's one of the cool things about the sorcerer or the mage pawns is they can give you tactical elemental buffs as... You know, they see fit. Oh, that's not why I wanted to do this. Come over here. I have a Skyward Slash. Oh. Yeah. Get up. Get up. Stop sleeping. Okay, we'll kill him. Oh, or her. What's going on? Oh, okay. So I believe these are standard human reinforcements. Come on. I'll provoke it. Okay. You can turn off those animations if you want. The ones where when they hold somebody or they do their shield thing. And and turning those little cutscenes or animations on and off is in the options menu. Alright, so... That was a little healing cloud. I should be proud to guide you. Okay. We'd hidden away here. Feel it for fear of the beasts all around. Stay ever ready as we advance. But with you, sir, we have a chance. I wonder what's Arisen. inside. I don't know. I'm gonna look to see what's inside. All right, where are we going? Over this way. Our army is routed. Any it is plain truth. Okay. Beyond that grand door, the dragon makes its roost. Stay ever ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Line ate him. Hey, can you heal him? Can somebody heal him? Oh, maybe not now. Now we need a necromancer. Oh, okay. So he's got a goat, lion, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to try and hit him. 
Now, cool thing about this is I can jump. Oh, I'm in the poison. I can jump, grab, and kind of climb. Oh, no, I uh, and fall off and die. Oh, oh, I'm hurt. I wanted to jump on it so that I could... Okay, I want to cut the snake. So you can climb on enemies to get, uh, you know, to strike in more sensitive areas or target areas. Right now, as you can see, I just cut the snake tail off. Oh, oh, I want to slash his face. Line strike. Oh, he's gonna heal me. I gotta let that happen. Heal. Okay, I'm gonna... You guys take care of that while I suck up the uh, heal juice. Okay, we're good. It's good enough. Oh, man. Man, I'm, I'm staggered. Jump up. Let's kill the goat. Yeah. All right, I think I didn't kill the goat head. Oh, or did I? I don't know what's going on. We're gonna we're gonna beat it while it's down. Oh, looks like uh, one of the mages or Morgana buffed us with fire. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, well, the uh, goat head is dead. Let's, um... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Giddy up, giddy up! Whee, yeehaw! Um... Come on, climb. Climb, climb, you... Uh, yeah, you're gonna hold it. I'd like to see that. Alright, I, I don't have good... I had to jump off. He wasn't holding on well, and I couldn't strike. With the lion jumping all over the place. Come on, grab on, climb, or nope. Oh. Ooh, yeah, my guy's having a really hard time. Oh, I can, I can hit the head though. Hit the head. Oh damn. It. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Stop. Don't. What are you taking a nap? I'll do that. Come on, he's almost dead. We got him. We got him. Oh, one of the pawns is dead, though. I didn't even notice that. Now choose, flee, or step forth. I'll flee. Of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal. And basically, that character we were playing as, as I said earlier, is an Arisen from a different universe. Is that how you say that? It's a multiverse. So, countless lifetimes come to pass. And now we'll end up as our character. Well, there's a cutscene first. I have no idea what that's. Oh. The delightful and ever novel pleasure of a useless occupation. Okay. That's a lot of harpies. Hopefully I'm explaining this right. This game has, like, some complicated lore. And in fact, if you're going to play this or Dragon's Dogma 2, I would look up at least the pawn lore. There's, I think there was even a comic or something like that about the pawns. The, the pawns themselves don't have free will, and they're kind of generic when they are, when they first come into being. And over time, they kind of develop a personality and become more human-ish. It's... It's really interesting lore. Alright, so... I guess the dragon has... come back into... this world. And he's eating harpies right now.
But as far as I know, that's the main enemy thing. Character creation. I'm just going to go with a generic character. So... Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just... We'll just put... Jojo... Uh, it's fine. Uh, is there a Joe? Joe, Joe, Joe. There we go. Joe's good enough. Continue. Alright. I'm just gonna go with this person. Sure, that's fine. We'll confirm it to get right into the game. Uh, yes, I'm ready to play. But you, there's a character... You can create your own character. There's, there's some... Okay, uh, character creation elements. Not the best I've ever seen, but not the worst either. You can get some uh, a pretty. You can get a pretty wide variety of looks. There are even people that have created characters from other video games in this game using that character creation uh, system. This is us. This is where we live. The dragon's return is nigh. I don't remember any of this. The days come to lay down rod and reel and take up the sword. That might be our love interest. I think. Maybe. Uh oh. I would have expected a little more than slight concern, and I wouldn't expect them all to run towards it. There we go, that's the fear I was expecting. Okay. You see, if you wouldn't have run towards it on the beach, you probably wouldn't have been in as much danger from that, I don't know, that stone pillar. Okay. And just to state the obvious, the graphics are okay. They're not bad. Like I said, Dragon's Dogma 2 probably does have better graphics if, if that's what you're after. But... That game is also... You know... Almost a decade newer. Yep, yep, I would have gotten off the beach when I had the, ch had the chance. Oh... Alright, I'm gonna... Uh oh I'm gonna... Slash at your foot here. Oh, look at all the... Damage that I'm doing. He'll be dead in no time. Three, four years tops. But I have no skills. <laughs> oh... Yeah. You're winning! Look, you've you've mortally wounded him. Or not. Uh oh. And this is where he eats me. Shortest game ever. I don't speak that language. Okay. 
Oh uh, yeah, that would hurt. That is my still beating heart. Um, excuse me, Mr. Dragon. Um, my heart belongs to another. Uh, you can't have it. Uh, give it back, please. But uh, he's he's gonna eat it. And I am somehow healing. Okay. The dragon ate my heart, yet I'm still alive. I'm sorry, you can't have my heart anymore. The dragon took it and ate it. Mm-hmm. And a freshly healed scar. What are you, Wolverine? Wolverine probably would have grown his heart back. I have never beaten this game. I've only ever played the beginning, so hopefully I'm getting the lore right, but I, I do not know why he's alive without a heart. Okay, so that is the, um, well, the beginning. This now we get to play as our character. Well, I mean, we did for about two minutes. All right, newly arisen. Oh, I can jump. So we're going to go over here and we're going to examine and it's going to ask us to pick our vocation or our class. You don't have to worry too much about this because you will be able to switch vocations, classes, as you see fit throughout the course of this game when you visit certain inns. I think most inns will allow you to change uh, from one class to another, and there are nine classes that you can play and switch to and from as you want, and you can do the same with your pawn. I'm going to start out as a strider. As you can see, we have a fighter, which is what the opening character was. We have a strider that's like a rogue ranged kind of class, and then a mage, self-explanatory. I'm going to pick strider. Yes. All right, so there we go. Uh, you can equip yourself with a primary and secondary weapon. That's right. So he's going to use swords or uh, daggers and a bow. So is there anything in here we want to take? Yes, we'll take plants. If you can loot things, you should loot them. They are important, especially healing items and whatnot. A lot of stuff can be used in crafting. Oh, yeah, and like I said, things will fall out of boxes. So that empty flask that I got, I can now go over here and I have the option to take water. And water, I believe, heals. So. You say it left a glowing scar? Yes. Ooh, glowing scar. The wound has closed, and it seems the worst has passed, but his heart lies silent. If you would face me. You are sure of this? Yes. Ill magic, the work of so some curse. I the whole world don't have my heart back. The dragon, dragon has it. Won't no good come of this. I must go see to the others, Kina. Tell me if aught changes here. I wonder if not having a heart will ruin our relationship. Yeah, I heard the whole thing. There's a, 
uh, defeating foes, completing quests. Okay, earns experience. So, get experience for defeating enemies and completing quests. I'm going to grab the oil. The oil is going to be used in our lantern, which you saw in the beginning. Remember when I equipped the lantern? Well, that uses fuel, it uses oil, and you will have to refu uh, refill it from time to time. You should be a bed. I wish you would not strain yourself so. Well. I am worried for you, cuz. Why? All right, anyway. Uh, anything in here I can steal? Uh, yes, berries will heal me. A uh, pie, I think, will also heal me. Greenwash, that, that's a healing plant. There are different potencies of greenwash. Or greenwash, whatever it is. Go out. Looks like it's going to show us the wreckage that the dragon left behind. Make my way down here. There is one thing I do remember. Oh, wait. Hold on. I, I see a chest. I can jump down and get this, I believe. Yes, I can. Go ahead, grab it. Why are these not breaking? Really? Uh, what about an arrow? I kill it with an arrow? Jeez, that took forever to break. Okay, uh... Jump down here. Put those away. And what I remember is, to the left, there's this lady, and she has a quest for you to find, like, plants. I'd craft dressings for the wounded, had I the makings. Okay. If only I'd known. Cuz, I need a favor. Can you fetch the flowers I need? Why is everybody calling me Cuz? I need more of the one you see there. And one other sort besides. The more okay. you can find, the better. Alright, so she needs me to f uh, find flower. Uh, over their heads. Okay. Just basically telling you how quests and quest markers work. So we have that quest, and let's go purchasing equipment, all right. There's a store, if I remember correctly, over here somewhere. This is an inn, and at many inns, there will be these notice boards, and you can get more quests from the notice boards. Restore health and stamina. Oh, if you rest at an inn, it'll restore your health and stamina. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll just grab all of them. His quests are good. Some of them you'll be able to How's complete relatively soon. Others, you have to wait to hit a certain part of the story before you're able to complete them. There's one where you're supposedly killing rats and you have to be able to get into this village as well to do that. Or somewhere else where there's rats, but that'll it, we can't complete that right now. All right, so I'm going to talk to him. I oh, hear Benita has you picking flowers for her. She does. Pray, just be cautious, cousin. Oh, is cuz cousin? Wait a minute. Am I related to everybody? Am I related to the woman? I hope not. That would be an inappropriate relationship. The monsters grow bolder by night. If you must leave them, I do not fancy the uh, thought of you going on. If you come by the inn, you can always rest. Until yep, it's just do? explaining things. I don't want to rest, but uh, you can store I items will. here. Your your characters do have a carry limit, and when you hit the upper end of that limit, I think you slow down. But you can store as many items as you want in the inn. So if I go here and I go to deposit, I can store things like... Oh, and food will go bad. So this scrag of beast will go bad. If you store it in your in storage, it will not go bad. So I can store things like berries and whatnot in my in the inn until I'm ready to use them so that they don't go bad. Uh, so I, I, I'm going to put the pie in there. Uh, I don't need the scrolls right now. Fisherman's tatters. I'll store those because that's just what I was wearing at the time. As you will. Okay. Also, at these inns, we can withdraw, obviously, 
and combine items. So if there was something we could we could combine the scrag of beast with, it would appear here and we can combine things. So there's a crafting system. I haven't messed too much with it, but just know that it is a thing. There is a crafting system. Even if I go down here, this can be combined with something as well. I don't know what. So let's go ahead and we'll get out of here. And we will go... Okay, complete assignments that I picked up on the notice board. Uh, I believe there is... Quests up here. Stamina is also a thing. Uh, in the bottom underneath the health bar, the green health bar, there is a stamina meter. In towns, I believe you get unlimited stamina. When you're out on the roads, it is not unlimited. And we'll see that in a second. Oh, that's a chest. I want the chest. Can I jump? Oh, okay. I didn't take damage. So what's in here? Okay, a coin pouch. Now, how the hell do I get... I'll take that. Win that. I think I'll die if I jump down, though. You get down. Over here, maybe? Oh, sh... Oh, I fell. I fell. That's... Oh, I, I survived, though. And he can survive this, so. I wanted to go to the monastery that was up top. There are um, missions up there. I don't remember how many, but I know there's there's at least one. So, we'll go this way. <clears throat> Join me for a drink. Uh... I don't have time for a drink. Alright, so here is the thing. Alright, so there's the monastery. Or, or the, not the monastery, but... Is it? Or it's a church. A chapel. Alright, there's stuff here. Blank scroll. Oh, some things can be looted more than once. Just, uh... Notice, if, if it's stuff that you pick up and remove from the ground, that's, a you know, you've picked it up, you've put it in your pocket or whatever, or in your inventory. Stuff that is not removed from the ground, like these books, if you notice when I looted them, they stayed there. They usually can be looted more than once. So, just uh, take note of that. Oh, I want this. I want all this. Flask of oil. Blank scroll. What I can help you with. Talk to this guy. It is selfish to beg a favor in such times, I know. It is, but, but you're going to do it anyway. I would ask your help in. Might we speak a moment? Yes, yeah, sure. My thanks. It is a sensitive matter. Uh -oh. I would ask your discretion. In the wake of the dragon's coming, many of the villagers have come to offer prayers. Okay. As a novice and a newcomer, I welcome the chance to be of use, but hmm? I have yet to commit the verses to memory. Without the text, I... I cannot offer up a proper prayer. The scriptures were secure in the chapel last night. Oh, Sunday. okay. I do not wish to believe. I remember this. So the scriptures are gone. You have to go find them. I actually remember this because of the fact that it was a pain in the ass. So there's a kid that took them, and I searched the entire village to try and find them, and he lost them on a roof. Yep, here's the kid. It was me. Yep. I confess it. I took the father's book from the chapel. You did. I tried to go back and find the book, but I was in such a panic as I ran. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to look at it. Just curious mm -hmm. is all. Forgive me. I cannot remember where I lost it. I thought to steal a glance and then return it, but the dragon came and I, I dropped it as I ran. Okay. Now, I'm going to save everybody that's watching this a lot of time. I think it's on... Oh, I see it. So, I don't know if you can see it, but right on that roof up there, right at the ledge, there's a brown thing. That's the scripture book. Now, I'm going to run. I think I click the stick and I can jump and... All right, we're good. There it is. Yeah, if you're searching for that and you don't know where to go... Like I said, I spent hours... Well, that's probably... I probably spent like 20 minutes and then looked it up on YouTube, but... Back when I first played. Alright, uh, am I going to make this? If not, I'll die. Okay. Ooh. Okay, chest. 
But I think there's chests on the roof. There are things on the roof. Jump. Oh, I want that chest. Chest in here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go... Here. And... Can I jump on these? No? Um... Oh, whoops. I mean to... Draw my daggers. I don't know if I can... Oh, I, can I? I'm gonna fall through this, ain't I? Hey, what? Oh, that that's some pretty strong cloth. Right, um... Can I make this? No. Oh, can I just jump up here? Yeah, I can. I can jump over here. Oh. Jump over here. Because I saw... What's it? There, right there. Oh, is that a hole? I don't want to fall in the hole. Go ahead, grab whatever's in here. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Just want to... Yep, just swing at nothing. Okay. But the one thing I am going to do, I'm going to go back to the... to the chapel and hand in this scripture book. Here, I found your stuff. Where did you find it? On a roof. I'm glad it's found, but see it back to the father for me, please. Thank uh -huh. you. So he doesn't know that you stole it. I, I get it, yep. Let's cover up your act of thievery. Oh, there's another quest in here. I think this is the one I got. I am new, but now we'll I go ahead. Think the scriptures... Yep, turn it over. The scriptures. You mm -hmm. I cannot thank you. Now I can once more. Yep, yep, it's all good. All right, so now I'm level two. He's got something. Wait a moment. I would not ask this of anyone but you, cousin. Uh huh. I have news for Merin. Dark okay. news. I fear I cannot bring myself to face him. Will you go? What did you my do? Stead? Did you? Did did you? Uh... His brother is dead. Oh. It happened you killed his brother. Ways. We were fleeing the worm, and he. Oh. Cortez leapt before the beast's talons to shield us. I saw it. Saw him hurtling through the air. Mm. Saw him fall back to the ground. I did nothing. Just watched the poor man die. Yeah. I cannot face Merin for the shame of it. He deserves to know what well, happened. Well, please. Was a dragon after all. I don't know what you would have done. I should know. I was an idiot and tried to uh, stab it. Well, I did stab it, just didn't do anything. All right, so, oh, if we hit the, I guess it's the back called the back button on the controller. Nope, don't want that one, the start button. We can go to quests and we can mark the quest so that it, it gives us a little map marker or track the quest is a better way to put it. When you've accepted multiple quests at once, you may set one as, yep, okay. All right, okay, so. We want a Grim Tidings, I think it is. Set as priority. So now it will show us where to go. If you look on the map, there's that little red circle thing. I'm going to go over there. And... Why are you yellow? What does yellow mean? Gathering ingredients, eh? Huh? You often see those flowers growing at the roots of bigger trees. Not that I'm fain to brave the roads these days. Just see you're not injured yourself, oh. Lord Fisher. Oh, so you just have uh, information? So to find uh, some of the flowers, I have to look by bigger trees or the roots of bigger trees? Oh, damn. I'm going. So. What? I... Yep, he's Elmar dead. He's dead, yep. Suffered, I've dead, yep. Okay, I gotta go back. I was hoping that would uh, complete it and we could just move on, but no, now I'm gonna run all the way back. It's a good thing we have unlimited stamina in the city. In the town. Run! Run! Go. Right. Got red. 
I thank you, cousin. I did. I did the thing. Yep, there we go. Some money for it. And the RC is another form of currency. And you'll use that in the rift. And the rift is where you're going to go to recruit pawns that are not your own. So you'll have your own uh, dedicated pawn that you will create. And you can recruit two others. And like I said earlier, they can be the pawns of friends of yours that play the game. Everybody that plays this game, so as long as they allow it, you can disallow the sharing of your pawn if you want. But everybody that plays the game, their pawn is uploaded uh, <laughs> into uh, under the server. And you can recruit any real player's pawn. Okay, I guess I triggered a cutscene. Oh, I know what this is. That is a pawn. The game gives you this guy as your first pawn. He is a mage. And he's got whatever the hell that is on his hand. That man you are speaking with, he's of the Pawn Legion. Okay. They come from some unknown place, just appear without a warning. They are a strange lot. Not human, quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark what drives us. They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as cell sorts. Myrmidons, they're called. Hmm. Yeah, pawns are a weird lot. West of the village, where men gather to face the dragon. Okay. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. I'm just gonna point this out. You are a buff older man. I mean, you're you're ripped. Why don't you take him? Why don't you I take him? You're clearly better suited to this. In the first place. I mean, you could probably bench press the the boulders that are outside. Before leaving, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I, there may not even be bowlers outside. Uh, yeah, there are. He could bench press those. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so Rook. Okay, his name is Rook. Let's see. Do we have anything else we can do here? Uh, I can kill rabbits. Make for the encampment, which I think means go to the town up the road. Or the encampment up the road. Slay mice. Eat goblins. Okay. Alright, I think we can leave, maybe. Now, you could spend time going through the town, finding all kinds of things in the houses and things like that, but I'm not going to waste time doing that. Like I said, I'm going to uh, cover, try and cover as much as I can in the first hour, so that you can get an idea if this is a game for you. And maybe save some money on, Dragon, on Dragon's Dogma 2 by not buying it, getting this game, playing this first, and then moving on to... <laughs> Dragon's Dogma 2. By the time you're done with this, maybe it, there'll be a sale on it. Alright, so... What's... Okay. Uh, Goblin... Oh, bunnies! Bunnies! That's, uh, ooh, I'm sorry. Wow. Kind of needed to do that, but... Are there more? Bunnies? Bunnies! Got it. Okay. Oh, that's a goblin! All right, I have one skill. Come on. Wow, that takes a lot to kill one goblin. Oh, damn. Okay, it's dead. Some coins off of him this that's night cry yes I, I can flowers are these the flowers I need sunbright was sunbright the flower I don't remember but I'll grab them this oh rabbit pelt um I mean that is a big tree it was by the roots is there another big tree there's a big tree over here too what see some flasks I want these in here. Oh yeah, let's take some oil. And 
What's this? Oh, this is lootable. Oh, oh your pawns will also loot. Uh, so your pawn and the pawns you recruit will just loot things. They'll break stuff. They'll grab things. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh, I think I have to... Uh, yeah, I know. I'm aware. I just fought goblins. Where is he? He's over here. I, uh, I think they can kill him. Oh, I'm doing, like, no damage. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the fire. That's helping a lot. Scarlet Kisses. Oh, damn. Okay, he's dead. He's... D okay. Well, I want the coins. Alright, I saved him. Alright, yeah, gain levels if foes are too hard. Yeah. Talk to him. That was Far too close. A traveling salesman, though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. Okay. Thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. Right. We gave me a cape. I don't know if I can. I think there's some weird thing in the way stuff gets equipped. No. Yeah, I think you have to whip stuff at an inn. But we'll hold on to that for now, I guess. Uh, what was I do? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. This looks interesting. Purchasing equipment here in Cassidus will make for a safer trip to the encampment. Ooh, bunnies! Bunnies! I completed the quest. All right. Cool. All right. Now the rest of you may live to tell the tale of what I've done here today. All right. I think there's stuff down here, maybe? Oh, he's getting tired. When you take damage, use curative items to replenish your health. Okay. Yeah, I not damaged though. Oh. This. I don't know what the perpiats are. Yeah, I'm not sure what they do, but I'm sure they do something. Goblins Some down here. Obstacles can only be scaled first with a leap. I thought there were goblins down here. Ooh, there's a chest. Poison arrows. So. Okay. Ooh. Oh, these airtight flasks, uh, they'll keep food fresh forever. So if you put food in them, I think you can only put one piece of food in it at a time, but it'll keep it fresh forever. And once you use it, it goes away. I never got the point of them. It seemed like a waste, you know, to put one piece of food in there and then, you know. Oh, this is, okay. So see, it's multi-loot. So I did not pick up the plant. It stayed there and continued to continues to grow. Uh, glow, glow. This notice how I picked it up, and it's gone. Oh, there's a chest. I see a chest. Hey. Okay. Oh, I did the bunnies. The bunnies. Guess we're going this way. That's where we're going right there. That uh encampment. I'll loot this. You'll find ore, plants, and other The nuts do not go bad. So nuts, especially the larger ones. And uh I'll thank you not to think dirty thoughts. Uh they will restore health. Uh, small nuts, a little bit of health. The larger ones, more health. But they don't go bad, which makes them nice to have. Because you don't have to worry about them spoiling. And when things spoil, I believe they become poisonous. Uh, and I'm getting tongue-tied a lot. So, like I said, when things spoil, they become poisonous. 
Okay, we'll loot this. Break this, yep. Okay, so we're over here. And we're gonna go in here. Yes, I can hear the voice in my head. I'm clearly going crazy. Alright, so... Ah, there we go. A rift stone. So that's what I am going for. Well met, sir. Can you hear our voice? I can. We speak to you from across great distance. The Horn Legion has awaited you. Okay. Greg, forgive this strange and impersonal greeting. This rift serves as a gate. It connects our kind to your world. It opens to the Arisen. Okay. If you would claim to be among the Arisen, prove very well. I do claim. If you are an Arisen, the Arisen must... Okay, that's going to say stuff. We're, I think, I just checked. We're at about the 50 minute mark. So... A rift stone. A strange power emanates from I think I gotta go through the village and a cutscene will trick. Yep. The beast comes! Hurry! Okay, so are we going out this door here? There may be prowling monsters about. That door over there? I don't remember. There's two there's uh two entrances. And now we have to beat the hell out of that. I'm gonna climb it like a spider monkey. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, give me the fire. Give me fire. Thank you. I can see it. You don't have to... Oh, these are goblins. Oof. Let me take care of these guys first. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, damn. Oh, he got me. That, that hit hurt. Get up. All right, yep, yeah, thank you. Whoa! Can I jump on him? Jump and climb. Whoa! Come on, climb, climb. Get to his head. We. Come on, climb, you bastard. I can't. I can't climb. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, that's not working. I'm gonna do this. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh. Yep, do the heal. Alright, I'm gonna... Yep. You gotta stay within this little cloud area. Alright, you guys take care of him while I heal. Alright, can I... Go! Oh! I'm trying to jump on him. There we go! Yes! Yes! Get him. Get him. We're gonna... Cut the head. Cut the... Ow. I do have this. You're holding it? I don't know how the hell you're doing that. Oh, okay. Okay, it's down. Let's... Uh, I can't or I'll fall off the cliff. I'll do this. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I'm surprised it didn't fall off the cliff. Oh, only the arm is uh, hanging over. I thought half the body was. Who is it? Uh, Emperor Palpatine, apparently. All right, uh, he Let should have dropped loot. Yes, heal, so I can, um, thank you. Well, okay, so there should be things here. And he turned into black ooze. I will grab that, I'll grab that, and that. All right, oh, wait, what's this? A hunk of ore. We'll take that. Oh, notice underneath my health, you can see outside of town, my stamina is, uh, I'm draining my stamina when I run. And it will cost stamina to do the moves, the special moves, like the threefold arrow or the scarlet kiss. Oh! Whoops! 
I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Rook. Rook! Oh, no. Whoops. Why didn't you heal him? You should have healed him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm disappointed in you. Maybe nobody saw. I'll just put these away. All I wanted to do was show you the move. But anyway, so special moves, drain stamina, climbing things, drain stamina. We're going back here. Uh, Ekball, okay, okay. Oh! Okay, so at the inn, we can... Yep, simple lodging. So at inns, you can change your classes, you can equip and buy new skills. So, learner set skills. We'll say, let's learn some skills. So, it looks like f I have 466 to spend. Let's grab Biting Wind for the daggers. And what do I have for the bow? Triad Shot or, or uh, Cloud Volley. We'll take Cloud Volley. All right, and that's all I have. And we'll back out. Uh, change, yes, I want to change my enabled skills. So, uh, for the Y, we'll go ahead and put Biting Wind on there. And here we'll put the Cloud Burst. And we're good. Will it be today? Nothing. I have to go talk to the stone. Come again soon. Yep. Uh huh. Augments. Okay. What's this? A knife. Knife. Ooh, oil. A lot of stuff here. What a warlock strout is, but. Hey, I'm just taking all your stuff. All right. So now we're gonna come over here, and now I. Th think is where it lets us create our pawn. I will. No, they won't, because other people can recruit them. Okay, so... Pawn customization. All right. So I'm just going to go with... We'll, we'll, we'll make it a woman, and we'll just do a, a generic whatever. Oh, do I have to type something? Okay, we'll, we'll say... Um, Betty. Hit enter. Yep. Don't care. We'll just... Okay. Betty, and whatever the... Ha I don't even know what the moniker is, but we'll just pick something. All right, um... Okay, we'll just go with the generic here. Fine. Confirm. Yep, we're gonna go. Just whatever she is, yes. It's gonna ask you some questions, and this is gonna set your pawn's inclination. This is gonna be how they um, behave in battle. All this stuff means something. I don't remember what it is. Uh, you can look it up, figure it out, like, you know, do a Google search, but... All this means something. I'm just going to answer the questions. When faced with danger, which trait? Value, uh, quick thinking, while in battle, kill all enemies, uh, leave it to me, uh, whatever. Okay, now I'm picking her class. Or you can pick fighter, strider, or mage, just like you did for yourself. And earlier, I said that you have access to nine classes. I don't think the pawns do. I think there are three hybrid classes that you can select. The pawns, I only think, have access to the six main classes. And I, I think, I could be wrong, I think that's Mage, Strider, Fighter, Warrior, uh, Sorcerer, and Assassin. Anyway, I'm going to just keep her like me so i'm just gonna pick strider for, you know for now and then i'll show you uh how to recruit pawns and we'll we'll call this video there but here it's gonna spit my pawn out of the dark void of hell there she is I'm gonna do the live long and prosper mm-hmm 
fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. It should be. From this day, the Legion's men call pawns live and die by your command. Oh, you'll die. Mostly die. Okay. Yes, bow to me. Bend the knee. Alright, and I have leveled some more. Okay, fantastic. Just fantastic. Uh, we're going to go to the stone. So, you can have three pawns at any given time. We have two right now. We have um, Rook and Betty, who's my... Betty is my pawn. We're going to go in here. We're going to try and find other pawns. It will automatically pull in some pawns that you can go talk to and recruit if you want. Or you can go to the stone. Yep. And filter and search. So if I do search, I can do. Oh, it's not letting me do friends. Uh, so if I have friends that have pawns, it will let me select this and it will give me a list of all my friends that have played this game and created pawns. Anyway, there are filters and things you can apply. And I think the reason it's not letting me do this is because I think it started me out in offline mode. I think I have to change it to online mode. But anyway, you can search pawns by level. We're level five. Right now, level five. You notice if I go to level six, any pawn that is above my current level will cost me rift crystals. I have 13 summoning a level six and actually uh, bringing that pawn into my party will cost me 29 rift crystals. I, I don't have that. So we're just going to keep it to level fives. And here are pawns. I can change the search conditions. So I want to replace Rook with a level five mage. And we need a fighter, because me and my pawn are striders. So we'll go ahead, we'll go finish. Now, you'll notice the list over to the right. Now is showing fighters with the red sword and mages with the um, blue, I don't know, staff thing here. Uh, and I can scroll down to look. You can hit the right button, which will show you various stats like the gender, uh, the primary skills that the pawn has. If So if you need a pawn that has certain skills, you would hit the right button and find one specifically that has the skill set you need. Anodyne is the healing skill, I believe. So I definitely want a mage that has that skill. It's uh, secondary skills. It has 11. And that's just the user it came from. Or, or, oh, I guess maybe these are just generic is there is no username if this was a live player's pawn it would have a name underneath username but I, I think this defaulted me into offline mode so it's only giving me random generated pawns all right so i am going to summon this person with this pawn with anodyne and i want a fighter that has shield summon which is the taunt and so this one will do and that doesn't add them to my group my group that brings them into the rift area here so i can summon i think it's five or six of them uh one two three four five of them and i then i can go around and select the pawns that i want so here's fire one with fire boon here's another one with anodyne now let's grab another uh, shield summons fighter. Okay, so now I've summoned five into the rift with me. So I'm going to go over to Rook. Is everything in order? I'm going to tell Rook to go away. May our paths cross again. And I can now summon any two, or I can now add any two that I've summoned to my party. Why do they look the same? These two look the same. Uh, okay, anyway. So I need a fighter. There's a fighter. Okay, he's a fighter. Yes, Arisen. Yeah, we'll enlist him. I'm sure it's fine. I could I check his skills, but with you. I, I don't care right now. And I need one. 
consult the history in the pause menu to review a record of all the pawns you've employed. So I guess you can look at who you've summoned in the past. Uh, we'll take Poppy as a mage, I guess, or Bertina. Well, does Poppy have um, heal? Uh, so view de details, uh, offensive. Oh, pawns will also have quest knowledge. So at, if you pull somebody else's pawns and that person has already played the mission with their pawn, that pawn in your game will uh, shout out tips on how to defeat certain enemies or bosses because that pawn has knowledge of those enemies or bosses. Kind of a, a neat little system. And then your pawn will do the same for others as people recruit them. And as people recruit them, I believe you get rift crystals uh, when people use your pawn. Uh, okay, she has Ice Boon and Anodyne. That's fine. Yep, yep, come with me. Uh, list. Yes. I am honored to okay, so now we've got our, our pawn party, which is Betty, and then the two I just selected. We will exit the rift. And we will ah, talk to him, I guess. Born, oh, he's gonna take you through some trials. Uh, you know, and basically explain to you about, you know, set, setting up the proper teams, you know, making sure you have pawns, uh, a good mixture of pawns to do certain things. And that's what's going to happen next. But we're going to stop this here. So this is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, not to be confused with, the dra with Dragon's Dogma 2, which is the second game, the much newer game. So after playing the first hour, would I continue to play this game. I, I've actually played more than the first hour. So yes, I would continue to play this game. This game is actually a lot of fun. So if you don't have the money for Dragon's Dogma 2, maybe consider getting Dragon's Dogma 1. Um, this game, when it's not on sale, can still be a little pricey. It's $30. However, maybe check storefronts like Fanatical, Green Man Gaming. Maybe you can get it for a little cheaper. When there are Steam sales, I believe this game can get as low as $5. But I think this game is still a good game. It's a little older, but the combat is fun. The story is definitely interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say it's one of the best stories ever. I'm more interested in what the hell the pawns are. Well, and how I'm alive without a heart. But anyway, yes, I would continue to play this after the first hour. I'm JoJo Fusion. This has been Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. And I'll catch you in the next one.